With the new year usually comes a new flu season, but this year is different. This year's flu season has disappeared from the U.S. with reports of far lower levels than anything seen before in decades. With the global pandemic and measures put in place to stay safe and healthy, like social distancing and wearing a mask, has helped prevent a twindemic of the flu and COVID-19. Experts also say fewer people traveling and more getting vaccinated help too. The flu has been the nation's biggest infectious disease with recent years hospitalizing 600,000 to 800,000 people and 50,000 to 60,000 deaths. Dr. Nate Mick, head of the emergency department at Maine Medical Center in Portland, which is the state's largest hospital, says he has seen zero documented flu cases this winter. That report remains a trend with flu activity across the globe in China, Europe and elsewhere showing low levels, too. With more than 90 million flu vaccine doses distributed this flu season, the numbers of infections are so low it has become challenging for the CDC to track how well the vaccine is actually doing. With COVID-19 cases and death rates reaching new heights late last year and into this new year before declining, flu-related hospitalizations, however, remained a small fraction of where they would stand during even a very mild season, said Lynette Bramer, who oversees the CDC's tracking of this virus. Many labs are using a CDC-developed multiplex test that checks specimens for both the coronavirus and the flu. Reporting for Newsnet, I'm Tolly Anderson.